everybody, it's me, Kylie, and I am so excited that you're here because today we are making something awesome that isn't just amazing art that's super fun to make, it's also an activity. What's the activity, you ask? Well, this is a piece of clay that I've then put a clear coat of gloss over, a little fingernail polish, and once they're done, once it's all dry, we get to squish them. That's right, today we are making clay cracking planets. You wanna crack this one open before we get started? Okay, ready? It was gray and silver on the outside, but it's bright yellow with this pretty blue glitter in it on the inside. It's like a surprise. That also sounds really good when it cracks open. You wanna make some with me? To the studio! Welcome to the studio. Let's get cracking. <laughs> Here's what you need to make your very own clay cracking planets. Number one, a big old pile of modeling clay. You want one that's pretty light and doesn't dry out. Number two, you're gonna need a clear gloss. You can use fingernail polish if that's what you have. It'll work just fine. Number three, some paint. Paint for the outside of your planets and even some paint for the inside of your planets if you wanna add a little extra something. And speaking of that, you might wanna add some glitter. All right, let's start with Whoa, stretchy. <laughs> the planet Mercury. Take as much clay as you wanna use for the size of Mercury. I'm gonna make mine about this big. And I'm gonna dip my fingers in it to make a little well because I want to color this clay so it's not just white. I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow, a little surprise pop. I'm just gonna mix it in. Should we keep it this very light yellow or should we add a little more? I think I'm gonna add just a little more yellow. Can't help myself. I just love yellow. Okay, there we go, there we go. Knead it in. Oh yeah. I think we should add just a little bit of glitter on the inside too, don't you? Okay, what color? We have dark blue, kind of a turquoise or teal, green, gold, purple, or red. I'm gonna go with this teal color, cool. <laughs> that will be a super fun surprise inside our planet when we squish it. Now that it's all mixed up, I'm gonna roll it into a ball. Keep on rolling, Mercury. And once we have it in a sphere, we're gonna paint it. I'm just using acrylic paint for this part. You wanna completely cover it so that when it cracks open, the color and the glitter inside is a surprise. Add some craters. Mercury doesn't have any atmosphere, so things from space hit it all the time. It gives it lots of craters and mountains, and it makes it a really rough surface. While I wait for this to dry, I'm gonna mix up some more clay, but I'm not gonna show you what colors are going into what planets. You're just gonna have to wait to the end to see. The 
clay is mixed and the planets are painted. Time for our last step before we can crack them open and see what's inside. We need to add our clear gloss coat. This is what's going to get hard so we can crack them open and reveal the secret surprise later. I'll paint these, we'll let them dry, and then we can crack them open together. After so many coats of gloss, I ran out of gloss and had to add a little fingernail polish, which you can see on some of these. Look, Saturn got very golden. <laughs> they are finally dry and finally ready to crack open. I am so excited. Okay, should we start with Mercury? Let's do it. The outside of Mercury is gray, and it even got some silver glitter. Do you have any guesses what the inside will be? What color? All right, we'll see. Ready? Let's go. Yellow, yellow with teal glitter. Here's Venus, second planet from the sun, and it's the hottest one. It's yellow because it's the brightest planet and it got a little gold too. What color do you think it is inside? Good guess. Let's check it out. Pink? <gasps> pink with pink glitter? I did not see that coming. Ah, the Earth, the only planet we know of with organic life. Third planet from the sun and the one we live on. What color do you think it is inside? Let's check it out. Orange. <laughs> Mars, the red planet, our closest neighbor. I also just learned that on the north and south pole of Mars, there can be snow. Did you know that? Okay. What color do you think is inside this one? Only one way to find out. Blue. I love how the bright red outside looks with the cool blue inside. That's my favorite one yet. Jupiter, the planet with the big red spot. Do you think it has a big red inside? We'll find out. I was tricky on that one. I did pink and yellow. Next up, the planet Saturn with its beautiful rings. What color do you think is inside? White, white with golden glitter. Next up, the planet Uranus, the planet who spins on its side. Let's see what's inside. Oh, that's such a pretty color, that purple. Mm, love it. And the last major planet from our solar system, Neptune. Green with green glitter. special art project for us today. Today, we're going to make a bottle that will help us calm down whenever we feel 
worried or mad or anxious or just like, you know what I mean? Sometimes you need help calming down. So today, I'm gonna show you how to make a bottle that'll help you do that. And even if you can't make it with me today, let's just be together. Cause sometimes being with a good friend can help <sighs> calm down. You ready? Let's go. Welcome to the studio. Today, we're going to be making one of these amazing bottles together. I'll show you how this bottle helps me relax at the end of the video. Here's what you need. A clear container, corn syrup, liquid watercolor or food coloring, glitter, glitter glue if you want, and super glue or hot glue. This is for the grown-ups. You're also going to need some hot water and I would recommend a measuring cup that can go in the microwave. The first thing we're gonna add is corn syrup. If you don't have corn syrup at home, that's fine. You can use clear glue. Corn syrup is very sticky and very thick. Watch. I'm gonna pour my corn syrup in this measuring cup first because it's a little easier to pour when you heat it up. <laughs> oh, bye. I'm gonna go warm this up and um, wash my hands. I'll be right back. I'm back. I put my corn syrup in the microwave for about a minute. See, it's much easier to pour now. The next step is to add food coloring or liquid watercolor to our corn syrup. I'm going to use blue for my bottle. I'm gonna add one, two, three drops. If you want more color, add more color. All right, let's stir it up. beautiful already. Once your color is mixed into your corn syrup, pour it into your bottle. Next, I'm going to add my glitter. I'm gonna use one small tube of glitter glue. Then I'm going to add my dry glitter. I'm gonna make a funnel for the top of my bottle so that the glitter doesn't go everywhere when I try to pour it in. I just folded a post-it note and funnel. You can add as much or as little glitter as you want. It's fun to have your glitter be different sizes so that it sinks and floats all at different times. Now I'm gonna add a little white. That reminds me of snow. Perfect. Now I'm gonna add warm water to fill up the rest of my bottle. I'm gonna dye my water before I add it to the bottle. Again, I'm using liquid watercolor. You can also use food dye. When you're making art, it's important sometimes not to be in such a hurry. It's not just about the bottle we're making. It's about every part of enjoying how things smell and feel and look. Look how beautiful this is when you drop it in and let it dance in the water. After you're done enjoying how this looks in the water, you can stir it up. That part's pretty fun too. Now, we're just gonna fill up our bottle. We're almost done. Perfect. You wanna 
fill it most of the way up, but leave a little bit of the space on top so that the glitter and water has room to move around. Now we're gonna stir up all of the things we put in the bottle. We want our glitter to get in the corn syrup. We want the water to get in the glitter. We want the corn syrup to get in the water. Mostly you wanna break up any big chunks of glitter that you put in because the next step is gonna help mix it up too. We're gonna to put our cap on. Really tight and give it a shake. The bottle still feels warm in my hands because the corn syrup and the water were warm. Okay, now we get to decide if we want to add any more color or glitter or anything else to our bottle. I think it looks awesome. Once you've decided that this is how you want your bottle, you're going to take off the top, put super glue all the way around the edge. And put on your top for the last time. My favorite way to use this bottle when I'm trying to calm down is to imagine that this bottle is like how I feel. So if I feel really stressed out or really worried, I shake it up. And then I imagine that all of that glitter swirling around is like all of the thoughts and energy swirling around in my head. And I put it down. And I watch it. I watch it as the glitter settles as it slows down. And I imagine all of those thoughts and feelings <sighs> sinking, 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 until I can just hold them calmly in my hand. Sometimes I just try to be very still until all of the glitter settles. And then at the end of that, I usually feel a little bit better. This craft we're gonna make out of clay and it's going to help us take deep breaths. Sometimes making art and then using that art later can help us calm down and feel more peaceful. Are you ready to make this one with me? Let's do it. Welcome to the studio. This craft I'm going to make out of air dry clay. If you don't have air dry clay, you could do this with Play-Doh too, or maybe even a salt dough. Just go online and find a recipe. It's really easy to make. This piece of art that we're gonna make today isn't just about the finished product. This piece of art is about the process. That means that making it is just as important as what we make. This is the part, the making it, that's going to help us relax, talk about our feelings, feel our feelings, and calm down. So, start with your piece of clay in your hands. And the first thing you're gonna do is not even think about what's worrying you. You're just gonna try to think about the clay. Give it a sniff. Hmm, do you like how it smells? What does it smell like? Mm -hmm. Squeeze it in your fingers. What does it feel like? How much strength do you have to use in your hands to squeeze it? Squeeze it as hard as you can. Now, 
make it into a ball by going like this. Now you can start to think about what's making you feel anxious or worried. Or if you don't know why you feel that way, just think about that feeling. Sometimes doing something really strong with our body, if it doesn't hurt anybody or anything, can be a really good way to get our anxiety out. So do that now. You can also slam your clay against a table. Just make sure that it's nice and safe before you do it. I'm starting to feel better already. I'm taking all the energy that's in my body and I'm putting it into the clay. When you feel good about how much you've smashed your clay up, you can do that part as long as you want. Grab a paper plate. Now I'm going to put my clay in the middle of my paper plate and I'm going to use my fingers to spread it out. This is another thing that feels really good if you have a lot of extra energy in your body. You can put it right down into the clay. Do you see how bumpy it looks? Super bumpy. It looks like a sea when the sea is really wild, when there's a storm. That's kind of what it feels like in my mind sometimes. Really windy and stormy and crazy. Try to make the clay look like your brain feels right now or like your body feels right now. Sometimes, when it's hard to find the words for how I'm feeling, making a piece of art like this can help me describe how I'm feeling. I don't know exactly the words, but I'm feeling like this. You know what I mean? You know. Now that we have all of our energy out and we made a good example of what it looks like in our minds, we're going to start to make an example of what it looks like when we start calming down. If you're using an air dry clay, grab some water. If you're using Play-Doh, you don't need water for this part. You're going to start slowly smoothing over the mumpy parts of your clay. Use your hands and go over all of the mountains and valleys over all of the ridges and bumps. Use your hand and the water to calm down the storm that you made in your clay. As you do this, think about the storm that you were feeling earlier. Imagine that you're taking those feelings and giving them a nice pat. That you're smoothing them out. We were going really fast before and pressing really hard. This time, let's go really slow and press really softly. Instead of making our clay bumpy, let's try to make our clay smooth. And as we smooth our clay out, Let's practice smoothing our thoughts out. Smoothing our breath out. Even smoothing our voice out. If you start to get worried again, that's okay. 
just start paying attention again to how the clay feels on your fingers. You can even shut your eyes if you want. Sometimes that helps. My clay is nice and smooth. I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to start in the very middle and I'm going to make a little dent. Then I'm going to draw a swirl just like this. Just like that. And I'm going to use my finger to trace this swirl over and over again, making it deeper and deeper and smoother and smoother. Slowing down and smoothing out our breathing, can also be a really good way to calm down our minds and our bodies. You can think about your breathing like the swirl. Every time you make your swirl, you're gonna make it a little deeper and a little smoother. So, practice breathing that way too. Watch, I'm gonna start out here. And as I trace my swirl in toward the middle, I'm gonna breathe in. Then, I'm gonna trace my swirl out and breathe out. Let's try it together. Ready? Breathe in. Hold it. And breathe out. See what I mean? Keep practicing your breathing and smooth out your clay until you like how it looks and feels. Once you're done sculpting your clay, put it aside and let it dry. This is a piece of clay that I made before today so that I'd have one ready to show you. You can leave the paper plate on or once your clay is dry, you can peel it off the back. Air dry clay is pretty fragile once it dries, which means if you have a thin piece of clay, it might break off. You also have to be very gentle with it. But you know what? That's okay. Because sometimes when we're feeling anxious, we need good reminders to be gentle with ourselves. When you're feeling really worried or stressed, you don't need to tell yourself mean things like, hey, stop it. You need to tell yourself nice things like, hey, it's okay. Hold yourself gently and take some deep breaths. Once your clay is dry, you can still use this as a way to remind yourself to breathe deep. You can still start in the middle and breathe out and start at the end and breathe in. Let's try it with this dry one. Ready? Once your clay is dry, you also can paint it. I'm gonna make a puddle of paint right in the middle. And then, just like my breathing, I'm going to slowly paint all around my spiral. I'm not 
in a hurry. You don't need to be either. I'm imagining as I paint my nice calm breath on the inside of me going out, out, out to the outside of me. My calmness inside helps me be calm outside. I'm gonna add an, another color around the outside. A darker blue. And this is gonna remind me that when I help myself be calm on the outside, like I'm in a nice, quiet, safe place or with a friend or a grown up that I trust and love and who loves me, that can help my inside be calm too. 